Hi, this is Pavel from Firebase GenKit team, and today I'd like to take a look at how to build an end-to-end -end app with GenKit. So we'll be building a uh, an Angular app with GenKit in the back end. So we'll be using Firebase, and uh, uh, to get started, we'll just run Firebase in a GenKit, and we're gonna use an existing project. Just gonna quickly initialize all of this. Yes, with uh, with TypeScript, uh, I'm, I'm going to say no to ESLint, uh, and let's install the dependencies. I'm going to say to install GenKit CLI just for this project, but you can install globally if you want. I'm going to be using uh, Vertex AI, but feel free to use any other model that you like. Just going to select defaults for the, all of this, and we'll generate a sample flow. Uh, and let's uh, go take a look what it generated for us. So it's gen generated a uh, functions folder with uh, Firebase functions. And here we're gonna, uh, we have the our sample flow. It's a uh, menu suggestion flow that takes in a subject and it just generates a, a menu for this, uh, for this theme. Uh, and here we see that uh, it's using on flow. So this is going to be a Firebase function based flow. So it's going to be deployed as a, a Firebase function. And just for this, uh, for this demo, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm not going to have, uh, you know, and, and auth policy just to keep it simple. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's try this. So let's just quickly, uh, build this. Oh, actually, I think I have to go into functions. Quickly build this, and uh, we're just gonna run this flow. It's gonna gen get run uh, flow run, menu suggestion flow, and we're gonna pass in banana and an empty uh, auth context. Okay, here we see uh, that it generated the menu, uh, banana split. Perfect. Uh, so this is working fine. So let's now add a uh, a UI for this. So we're going to be initializing uh, a new Angular app. So just going to call it my app. And let's just do CSS. We're going to say no to server side rendering. Now let's add Angular Fire. Angular Fire is an Angular library that. Uh, makes it easy to work with Firebase in Angular. So to add it, we run this command and say, yes, proceed. And we say what we're going to be using authentication and cloud functions uh, callable. I'm going to use the, the app that I pre-created and great. So it uh, updated um, our configuration here and let's go take a look. So it generated uh, an Angular project. And if we look at the app uh, here, we see the config file. So it uh, automatically imported the Angular configuration with my API key and all the different information. And here it also added providers for uh, Firebase auth and Firebase functions. Perfect. Um, okay, so let, let's go maybe try and run this app. And, and to run it, we're just going to run uh, ng-serve from here. And this is our URL. Uh, we're going to go launch it in a simple browser. And, and this is the, the default Angular app. What we're going to do is just going to go to this template, and we're going to remove everything. And we're just going to create a button. And uh, we're going to add a click handler that's going to say, okay, run flow. Or actually, let's say generate menu. And uh, to generate the menu, we'll be, uh, we'll be asking for an input. Uh, this is going to be our, it's going to be text. Uh, and it's going to be ng model. Uh, it's going to be a theme that we'll be uh, asking here. So it's just to make this compile, 
we're gonna go and add some imports. We actually, don't need router outlet because uh, we need form uh, module and uh, let's do also common module. So we need the uh, theme. Let's just default it to banana. And our uh, menu is just going to be type any for now. Also, we need to add the generate menu uh, click handler. Let's go, just go quickly add this. It will be taking the, the theme and running the flow. To run the flow, we will we need to inject functions. So here we're just going to be a private functions and it's going to just inject functions from uh, Angular Fire, and we're also going to inject auth. So uh, what we'll need to do, like from here, we will be just make a callable function call. So it's going to be taking in the this functions reference and the name for our flow is going to be menu suggestion flow. So this is our callable function. And from here, we can just uh, call this, uh, this theme and await on it. And we can actually just uh, set the menu going to be coming from here. This needs to be an asynchronous function for it to compile. Uh, and here we'll just uh, say, um, let's, let's do uh, an element like this. And here we're just going to render our menu. And we're going to check in ng if, if menu is, uh, is defined, we will just render the menu. So from here, uh, so we want to run our our flow in an uh, in an emulator, and when it's going to be running in the emulator, we're, we're going to need to actually uh, connect our uh, functions and auth emulators. So let's take a look here. So just to connect the functions emulator, I believe we're just going to be saying uh, localhost and the port is going to be, uh, we'll, we'll double check, but I think it's going to be 5001. And we're going to connect the auth emulator as well. Uh, this auth, and there's going to be uh, actually HTTP localhost, uh, something like a 9901, I believe. Well, let's go take a look. So. We'll do Firebase uh, init emulators in our uh, in our project. We're going to say we're going to be using uh, authentication and functions emulators, and uh, the auth emulator is going to be running on this port. Perfect. And the functions emulator in five thousand one. And let's do the yes to emulator UI. All of that is uh, to default. And uh, and from here we can just. Um, run this in the Firebase emulator. And actually, uh, before we do that, uh, one more quick thing. We actually need to uh, Firebase init hosting as well. So because we're going to have a, an Angular app that we want to host as well. And uh, let's just uh, quickly build it so that we know the path where it's going to build stuff. Okay, here we see it's gonna, this is the location where it wrote. So it's gonna be dist, my app and browser. So when we uh, initializing now, uh, now hosting, we're gonna say my app uh, dist, again, my app and browser. So this is gonna be uh, where our static assets for Firebase hosting are gonna be. And we're going to say no to that. No, we don't want to host it from uh, from GitHub. And uh, no, let's not override. Perfect. So let's just start our Firebase simulator.
Okay, so here now we see okay, this is our emulator is running on this port, which is gonna run a simple browser, just point it here, uh, and we see that our, our button is, uh, actually doesn't have a label. We're gonna say generate menu. Okay, and we're gonna just uh, run it through ng-serve for now, just to make it easier. So, um, yeah, if, if we, uh, you know, run generate menu, it's, it's not actually gonna work uh, because we still need to um, do the authentication here. So we connect it to the Firebase auth emulator, but we're gonna, uh, actually need to sign in. So for the purposes of the demo, I'm just going to sign in uh, uh, anonymously. So uh, just to keep it simple, but uh, you, you can see there, are, you know, many, um, you know, many suggestions here. Uh, if you look at the different uh, sign in options, you know, you can sign in with, uh, with credentials, phone number, email and password, or, or you can uh, add uh, various uh, sign-in providers. You can sign in with a Google account and any, you know any other one that you want. Okay, so from here, we would just uh, go here and say generate menu. Ooh, uh, wait a second, probably would be a good idea to add a, a loading spinner. Okay, here we see our, our menu coming back from the back end. But it, well, we are rendering it as, as JSON, but uh, you know, let's make it a little nicer. Let's not render it as JSON. Uh, we see that there's a menu.data. So let's try and see this now. Okay, here's our, our menu. And actually like we, we can look at the emulator as it's doing something in the background, but let's try Apple. And here we see that it's uh, this is the the prompt for the LLM. Okay, here's our uh, Apple menu. So yeah, um, here we built a uh, and full app with a UI with with GenKit, uh, and and from here uh, basically like if we just want to deploy this to production, we just run Firebase deploy and uh, it will deploy this whole app with our uh, Angular UI and uh, GenKit in the backend with uh, all the flows deployed as cloud functions. Yep, that's it. Thanks. Mm -hmm.